tip of Washington State. I don't know if you've heard about the whaling issue, but our tribes, the whalers, that were up trying to get back, you know. So, uh, we've been waiting for Bob. He just turned 65. So he's the baby of our team. Glenn, he's 70. You know he'll be 70 in April. On the 12th, he'll be 70. Mike made him wait a whole year to play in the 60 and over. He's a week away from being 60. And it was a long time ago, but uh, but we played we played together since uh, he got out of high school in '68. Uh, I had a men's team that we traveled up mostly up into Canada. That's when there was a lot of tournaments. You know, we used to play a lot of ball. We never had any height. You know, we were all short guys, so we used to run. We used to run. It's been a long time. I've known Mike a long time. Now. So what brings you here? Why do you like to come here? Well, we, we really, I mean, we all like to play basketball. But one of the big things about going to this tournament that Mike puts on, and one thing, it's a it's a real good tournament. I mean, it's a fair tournament. You don't get, you can't pick up guys that are too young, or you can't, you got to have Indian ID, you know, because a lot of tournaments we go to, that isn't the way it is. So we come here, we, we got a well-run tournament, and we see players we played against in the 60s. You know, I played some, I played against some of these guys in the 60s, you know. I think I started playing Indian tournaments in 1960. I think I was senior. I graduated in 61. So it was 1960 when I first started playing Indian tournaments. Oh yeah, we started in 75. Yeah, the tournament actually started in in uh, 75 with a 30 and over. And this is this one is the most fun of all the tournaments because, like these guys said, it's like a homecoming for all of them. This is where they meet once a year. And this is where they play against each other that they played many, many years ago. And that's what's fun for them. And that's what Dale said. It's not about winning or losing. It's about who's, who's going to be here and who's still around. And now, you know, as 65, we're getting more teams. Now, next year, some of the, the Navajo players are going to be turning 65, and they want to enter in the 65. So eventually, you'll see more 65 and over teams. Yeah, my name is uh, Ernie uh, Bighorn from the Fort Peck Sinbon Sioux Reservation. I've been coming to this uh, basketball tournament for probably uh, 40 years or so, thereabouts. And uh, coming here with uh, Bighorn Warriors, Bighorn Chief. But uh, Bighorn's uh, is a town in Brockton. And all the players that play with them are Brockton. are from Brockton, about 60% are from Brockton. And some are from Poplar and so forth. But most of us are big horns. Most of us are big horns. Some years we bring five big horns, some years four. <laughs> but we've been playing ball since we were five years old together. And we very seldom pick up any new players because it's kind of a hard thing to come here. We started this coming here as a uh, non-alcohol program. And so a lot of us are working uh, people. Most of us have college degrees. And most of us are uh, retired. <laughs> Some of us are ranchers. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of support each other in coming to this conference. And we come here because of the atmosphere that uh, Mike Sakharis uh, provides here. Uh, the leadership that's here, uh, with that many teams coming here, uh, it's amazing how that he can manage to put this tournament together all these years. 